Hello, good afternoon. This is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today I want to talk about Jet Foam Builder. This has this store foam record. So uh, this is really easy to do. Uh, I want to quickly show this to you how you can do this. Uh, I'll give you some example here. So this is um, like tech support session intake form. So this is something I volunteer uh, for seniors. And then uh, for example, so I'm going to just uh, put the uh, and I'm gonna just put my email address and then which device, uh, you know, Mac computer and, uh, and then, you know, clients can fill out any problem or issues and hit submit. So it's uh, successfully submitted and let's go to uh, dashboard here. So this is the back end and then go to here, jet form builder and under here, so you see form records and click that now um, you see this text session intake form so this is just the, what i submitted here and then let's take a quick uh, view here and then uh, here so you see the name here and my email address and which device it's mac and this is the uh, text uh, area right so also i've set uh, this uh, email uh, one for me and one for the client so if you open up uh, email so here we go so it, it is already came so hi admin so someone submitted your tech support intake font so this is for admin and also um this is for client so you see the name here and also thank you for submitting the uh, tech inquiry form so i will review them shortly and we'll get back to you if i have any questions so i look forward to seeing you so so this is like automated email. So uh, let's take a look at um, how I did it. So let's go to uh, Jet Form Builder and Forms. So um, so this is the one, text session intake form. So let's go to edit. So this is a really simple uh, thing. So just the text field, a uh, name in the email. Uh, these are just radio buttons to uh, ask them which devices or which device uh, they are using or that they need a support. And then uh, if they pick others, so they have to specify. So this is just a condi conditional. Yeah, I can quickly show this to you. So here, so I got the one conditional. So this is kind of really simple here. Um, you know, show this field if the equals to, uh, you know, when they pick what's your device, if they pick others, uh, this is going to show up. So I can just show it to you here, right here. So I'm going to just refresh here. So if they pick iPhone, Android, so it doesn't show it, but if somebody pick others, it shows here. So please specify which, what, what is a device. All right. Uh, so anyway, so uh, just to go to this action button here. And uh, so this is submit and just pick a submit form and then jet form you click that so you can set um you know different submit actions so this is just email uh one for admin and one for client now here though so you can add another one so save form records and just pick that and then just uh, hit update so that's it and then you just go to the back end here you know under jet form builder go to form records uh, just click here and if somebody submit it and you see on the list and the good thing about it is in my case I have two different kind of forms if I want to take a look at only a text session form I can just oops, sorry I can just pick this one and they just chose that it filters it all right so this is great um, but one thing um, what I like to see is uh, so that I can export uh, this records as a CSV file. So that would be great. If you can keep this data as a CCT, a custom content type, uh, you can do that. Uh, perhaps I can probably make another tutorial for this, uh, how to submit this record as a CCT. So anyway, so this jet form builder is free. Yeah, of course, you can add some pro version uh, It gives you uh, different types of uh, more options. 
that uh, this form records uh, module is free. So uh, I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.